Okay, guys, it's sol, flor, and sassi. And we're gonna break down the sequence for you guys. So if you don't have a partner at home, just go ahead and use a chair or some sort of a, kind of like a little height object so you have something to look for when you go to kick and you can focus on like a partner. So right now, in breaking down this move, I think it's important to do one movement at a time and build up to each part. So guys, jig up for right now. All right, so right now I'm gonna have floor, do manual de frenchie by itself, and then back to jinga and sassi, I want you to do a cocaria back into jinga. All right, go ahead. Good job. Now, Sassi, you do the Mayalua de Frenchy, and you do the Coparina. Good job. Okay, so after you guys work that, take a break. After you guys work with your partner doing that back and forth, then for the person that's doing Coparina, once you Coparina, you want to tilt your body to the side, kind of like a resistencia. And instead of doing negativa, you're going to bend your knee in some, not too much because then you become pretzels, but um, just enough to where you have a little give on your knee so you can raise up the leg, like you're going to kick up. So when you kick up, it's not good enough to just kick up with your leg and your hip area. It's important to raise your, in my, in my case it's my left shoulder, but I want to say free shoulder. So whatever shoulder is free for you at the moment, you want to kind of raise up from there. So even if you can't jump, you kind of do a little matero. And even if you don't have enough power to jump at the moment, you can always just kind of hop your front leg and then kick. So you get back into a jinga position from a martelo going all the way around. So the both of you, can you do me a favor, Cocarina? Face the camera. Jinga. Face the camera. Face the camera. Face the camera. Jinga. Cocarina. Boche. Okay. That's what move you're gonna practice. Get up, back up, jinga. Go on the other side. Go on the other side. And practice that a little bit. Once you practice that, you'll feel more comfortable dropping down to that level. It won't be so much of a drop. It'll be more natural. Resistencia into the actual body. Now, Iyani's by herself. Show Jenga. Come here. Jenga. Go Karina. Boshi. Chapeau Jigo. Good. Make sure you guys are always trying to come back to the kind of the squat so you can come back into a Jenga position, okay? Now, your turn. Sassi, show them yours. Cocaria. Boshi. I'm gonna make sure I get really hot. So guys, again, don't worry about getting too high because it's not really about how high you can go. It's about how much, how much power you're putting into the initial kick. So if you're going only this and not so much power, you're going to get caught kind of halfway through. But if you raise your shoulder up as high as it can, even if you can't jump, because I can't jump very high myself, but even if you can't jump, you can still do a nice kick around them. So guys, one more time, do the sequence together. Piece by piece. So start out with the basic and then you guys act like you're gonna do the amount of the dome. 
Go away to the ocean. It's okay. I'm out. Ocean. Shut it up now. Oh, I thought you were just going to do it. But that's okay. So this time, I want Yanni's uh, floor, excuse me. I want you to do the Shakira Jikoro, but I don't want you to do it jumping. I just want you to do the Matelo version so they can have that version too. Mm -hmm. Me algo de French in its Amada. Try it again, guys. More eye contact. Focus. Same sequence. Me algo de French in Amada Sassi. Floor. I want you to do cocaria, boche into the chapel. Okay? One, two, three. Very good.